Hey everyone, today I'm sharing a shaker card using Waffle Flower Stay Cool stamp set. And making this card really made me think of summer already. For this card, I'm using Lawn Fawn Stitch Frames, so I die cut this out using blue paper to look like the ocean. I stamp out a mask of the scuba gear because I want the bear to look like he's wearing it, so I want him to be behind the gear. And once I cut that out, I'll stamp the bear and I'll go ahead and color it up using Spectrum Noir markers. And I wanted to keep kind of a color palette of the ocean, so I use a turquoisey blue for the scuba gear and the bear itself will be brown. And all the colors that I'm using will be listed down below in case you're interested. So once I finish with a bear, I pull out another stamp and it's the little bird that's in the little floaty. <laughs> um, I decide to color it with some pinks and blues. I just wanted to kind of pop in the water and I personally just love pink. And for the item that's above the floaty, I think it's to keep the bird sh in the shade, but it looks like a leaf to me. Um, so I just go ahead and color that in some greens. And I'll blend out those colors since the area is a little bit bigger. I'm using about three colors to do this. And the little bird, I'll color in a light yellow. And it has like a cute pink pop on his cheek. So I grab some sticker paper and I'm uh, stamping out these little fishes. And they'll actually be following the little bird in the floaty. So I want them to be pretty colorful. In general, this card's going to be a bit colorful. And I'll have different pops of colors, especially with the shaker bits that I'm using for it. And looking back, um, I since I decided to use vellum for the shaker part, I really didn't need this to be on sticker paper because I'll be adhering it directly onto the vellum that you'll see later. So since this card is going to be a half shaker, I'm stamping out these waves. This will actually be the separation from the water and the sky, and the waves will hide the foam tape behind it so that the shaker bits don't go everywhere. So I'll fussy cut the waves out, and I'll later on I'll trim it down to size. But I'll go ahead and take all the images that I had previously colored, and I'll fussy cut them as well, and make sure that all the edges are kind of coated in that black ink, just so no white spots are popping out. And I'll also fiddle around to see where I want everything to go. Fussy cutting takes some time, but I think it's worth it sometimes when you don't see that white outline and I don't mind spending that extra time cutting just so there are no white spots. So I have an idea of where I want everything to go and I do want those fishes to kind of chase the chick on the floaty. And I think that with the vellum shaker, we're going to put the fish is actually behind the vellum so it looks like they're in the water. I trimmed down a piece of vellum and this is the portion of the card that will be the shaker. Once I figure out how much of the card will be the shaker, I'll mark and mask this off on the background and I'll color it up. And so I want it to be pretty simple. Uh, blue for the water and yellow for the sky so that the bear peeking out of the water stands out at the top half. Using two distressings, I'll blend out these colors pretty quickly and you won't really see it through the vellum, but you will see the pop of color. So I want to make it dark enough where you can notice that there is blue in the water. And for the yellow, it's going to be pretty bright, mainly because there's nothing covering this up and this will be the half that doesn't have any shaker bits and it'll only have the bear that has the scuba gear peeking out of it and the sentiment for the card. I'll blend these colors out pretty quickly and I decided I wanted to add a bit of interest to the background so I use an acrylic block and a water brush to place specks of water everywhere. And once I do that with the distress inks, it'll pull up the color and I just use a paper towel to do that. I'll add score tape to the vellum piece so I'll stick it directly onto the frame. And I'll also add that wave, which will be the separator for the foam tape that will contain all the shaker bits. 
And I use a Zyron sticker maker to put the fish's face down. Um, so the adhesive is actually on the colored parts. And since you can't really see the fishes through the vellum, if I put it directly on the background, I decided that I'll put it directly onto the vellum. But I use the chick with the floaty face up so the adhesive's on the back and that will be at the front of the card. And it sounds a little bit complicated, but once you see how the fishes look, it does look like they're underwater because it has a softened look through the vellum. And for the bear, I want it to peak a little bit higher above water, so I'll color the remaining parts of it and trim it down so it's hidden behind that wave. Once that's done, I'll run it through the sticker maker and then add it directly to the card. I'll use the Stay Cool Sentiment from the stamp set to stamp in the corner of the card. And I use my Misty to do this. So now I just need to add foam tape to the edges of the card and behind the waves to create the shaker element to this card. And I've already pre-cut quarter inch pieces of foam tape to go around the edge of the card and right behind those waves. Since I'm using Drive-By Crafts Itty Bitty Shaker Fun, I want to use two layers to make sure that these little balls can shake and move freely around this card. And I think that this little shaker pouch is perfect for it because it's a summery card and all the colors in this little pouch are super bright and colorful and I think it matches with the fish and the floaties. So once I add them in, I make sure that everything's moving freely and not stuck to the side where the foam tape is and I'll adhere the back to the card. And I'll take that and adhere it to a card base. And for a finishing touch, I'm using glossy accents to add to his scuba gear so it looks a little shiny. When I completed the card, I had a bit of regret because I thought the vellum dulled out the shaker bits. Thankfully, I had stamped out extra, so I was able to recreate it using acetate instead of vellum. But I still can't decide which I like better. The vellum lets the images stand out more, but the acetate shows off the color of the shaker bits. Regardless, I think the two cards are still a lot of fun, and I like making half shakers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card, both of them, and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!